And on your favorite channel, New World TV, ladies and gentlemen, dear viewers, we bring you another episode of your favorite program, the Daily Trend Francophone Edition season finale, and where we discuss the crucial and important issues or matters. We shed light on them, and of course, today's topic is quite sensitive and very much vital. And as usual, I am accompanied by two lovely guests. How are you doing today, Mr. David? I'm fine. And, you? and Mr. Fomija? I'm pretty good, my dear. Before we go into details of what uh, we are going to discuss today, I would like to share with you guys um, a very short story of a friend of mine that I met a um, few weeks ago um, on the road. She was taking a walk and I met her and I was like, um, what's wrong with you? Why are you so perplexed and at sea? You look lost. What's going on? And she was trying to, she was trying to tell me that she had a, a sister that is going through a difficult time and as the elder sister, she had to come with a solution or come with an idea. And so I asked her what was the issue, and then she told me about her sister being um, harassed at her workplace. Why? Because she wanted to get a job. And her patron, her boss, wanted to have his way before giving her the job. So she don't know what to do because difficultly they get, three, um, they get to leave um, because they don't have their parents with them anymore. So because this is a very difficult situation for them, they had to, by all means, have this job. So she was asking me, should she um, be in accord with her sister to accept being harassed and like to get the job? Is it a good way? No, it is not a good way because getting a job is not based on that way. Because now our world has turned over that we are facing this kind of thing. So this is a kind of thing that we are facing all over. Not only your sister, even students today, they are facing these challenges in schools where they're supposed to teach them in order, like they turn the teaching into another stuff and they are, it's like it's uh, become a, a way lecturers are doing in order to give grace to students to succeed. So it is a challenge we are facing today. Okay, just before we proceed, um, can we have a look about what this issue is about? Let's go into details. Not only my friend's sister, who is also like a sister to me, is a victim of this ugly situation. There are many people out there that are going through this situation but don't have the voice to speak up or don't have the courage to talk about it. And with this, ladies and gentlemen, on our ground of discussion today, we have a uh, dealing with harassment, rape, and abortion. These um, people that are going through this situation really they don't have um, they don't have the, the the courage to talk about it because many people think it's shameful. They themselves they think it's it's shameful due to how they're being treated in the society. And that's why we we can rarely see media talking about this issue unless 
maybe one or two people gather the courage to talk about it and say enough is enough. And this situation is also uh, a threat to human rights, not what, to only what? say that, but to also... Recently, in, on Arise News, 7% yeah. of students have been raped. Before I even come in that, I would like to define what is, rape, uh, is harassment. Sorry, Harassment is unwanted, unwelcome attitude, behavior, demeanor towards a person that causes his emotional or physical, mental suffering. This is what women, not only women, eh, or people are facing today. So now, when we have the word 70% of women are being raped, sexually raped, and on CBS News, University of America, 400%, 400,000, like 400,000 women are being raped in OU. Each year. So now we must be talking about That's each year. That is exaggeration. That's much, actually. Each year. And mm -hmm. each year. So you must be talking about this topic. It's very something that is very important to us. You must be talking about you, it. You, you, you know, first of all, I would like to define what the, the, the sky, to add to your definition that you give to uh, harassment. Harassment is not only is um, behavior, but it's usually repetitive. It repeats. It's not continue. Yeah, it's continue. Not mm -hmm. it happened many times. So when it comes to like that, we talk about uh, harassment. You see? So 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 um, this is what I, I will add to your definition. So when we also we take harassment, we have different form of harassment. harassment. Yeah. But mainly today, I will tackle the session because it is the one that we are facing each day. We have, for example, when we have. Uh, uh, cyberbullying, harassment, which is harassment through social media, yeah. harassment tests, and yeah. Yeah. Thank, you thank you very much. Uh, that, that is it. Uh, sexual we, uh, comments. Sexual and comments and so on and so forth. We have personal harassment, like intimidating the person through words that you know very well that we upset the person. You, you see this, like, we really upset the person, but you will be. You do it. Intentionally. You do it intentionally. We have psychological uh, uh, har harassment. harassment. This is also to say something that will touch the psychology of the person, mm -hmm. that will humiliate the person, that will put the person under uh, a kind of state that will weaken the person. Yes. And we also have criminal uh, 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 harassment in a society where someone like these hoodlums will strike you down mm -hmm. or will strike you in order to intimidate you physically or verbally. But the main one, sexual harassment, is any kind of attitude which is not welcome, which is not, the, the person is not, uh, the victim here is not in need. Mm -hmm. you, you don't have the consentment of the person before yes. doing it. Sexual harassment, it, 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 to, to arrest somebody, you know, uh, in my discussion with somebody, I told the person, harassment is first a seducing, it's a way of seducing somebody. Mm -hmm. If we talk about, you're talking in sexual uh, case, yes. sexual domain, arrest somebody is to seduce, seduce the person. So when somebody... What do you mean by seduction? Can you explain it? Yeah, against the yeah. person's will, of course. Yeah, it's to, you try to have the person's attention on... Your feeling, maybe you feel love for the person you feel. To is have it, is, is that person. what we call love? <laughs> yeah, no, it, but there are some people. Mm -hmm. It's like that they behave. So, if the person feel to maybe he, he's, uh, the person sees you and then you look very beautiful, pretty, and so on and so forth, the person will try to draw your attention. And then, if you also you you don't pay attention, you don't care. You'll fall in his trap and then your life will be. Will I, will I, will I accept what he said? So to to, <laughs> to, to, well, to continue what he was what he was saying, harassment can not only be continually uh, continuously um, trying to approach somebody in a sexual manner against the person's will, and we can also see that um, these kind of things has the intention to intimidate this person, mm -hmm. to force this person to do something mm -hmm. against the person's will. Of course, that, that, to continue that, pestering this person against. Um, the, per the person's voluntary, like, yeah. do you understand what I'm trying to say? And we can also see that at workplace, because these issues normally happen mostly at workplaces, workplace. in mm -hmm. schools, mm -hmm. and we can see that um, at workplaces we have 66% of women, because when we talk about harassment, mostly mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. like, it have an eye on women. Mm -hmm. There are 66% of women that are being harassed in workplaces, 38% 
of these women that are in internship and 35 of them that are at home. And mm -hmm. we can also say that what can um, trigger this kind of situation is power relationship. For example, yeah. someone sees that I'm in a higher position than this person. Mm -hmm. I can be the one that, to fail. That's what I was trying to mention uh, the example of lecturers. Yeah, when I say the lecturers, they have power in their hands. Yeah. So students now like they are subordinates and they can do everything no, with the students no, no, and they know, can oblige them. It is to not only uh, lecturers or teachers. I know some students that seduce that harass the teachers, women, especially women teachers. Women Even teachers if we take it, there, there's a great males. personality that I will not mention on this post. He is a president, mm -hmm. but he is married to his teacher. So I, 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 we cannot, so it's not only In, Indirectly, are, you are measuring are names. Also, <laughs> there, there are also <laughs> students that are, who, who harass their teachers. So it's not only the... the but so the, if I follow your logic, female students who harass male teachers. Male teachers. Okay. Where, where okay. also, do you know? Uh, male teach, male students who also harass their female teachers. Do you know yeah. recently? Mm. Do you know recently Nigeria bill has been signed, bill, mm. in order to stand against any kind of hard work any lecturer we try to do in these schools, mm -hmm. in, or especially universities, mm -hmm. they will be like sued. Mm -hmm. Because when I say this statistic I gave about 70% mm -hmm. said on new, uh, Arise News, it is the fact. And even because many people have been shouting, screaming about this situation, yes. screaming about it, it is oh. something that is common yes. in so our universities. Does that even mean uh, we, that we cannot have access to anything? Mm. That, that is the point. The that is the yeah. point. Uh, uh, also, Getting job, people will get through that way. Studying, have yeah. your diploma, your certificate, you get through yeah. that way. And also having some post or any kind of position. No, this, this today, regarding the number of people looking for a job, some people use usually play on this opportunity to to, to destroy people's life. Yeah, that brings because me, they know that that brings me yeah. to the point of um, lack of awa awareness. awareness. Mm. Where, for example, the person in question does not um, understand or know what the situation is on what it's about. They are on, they are unaware of the situation. So they get to be become victims of this situation without knowing what to do and how to handle it. So that also brings us to how can we try to do away with this kind of um, um, ugly situation. We can approach someone who is in authority or maybe a friend that we can confide in and tell them that this is what is going on. For example, in a workplace, you're already employed and you're facing this issue. You can go to your superior. Mm -hmm. And if that does not work, because maybe the superior to is an accomplice, if that does not work, then you can take it to the it, police. The, we have something also we must say. This person be harassed, they are psychologically traumatized. Yes. So first of all, he needs someone that is trustworthy. Surely, that's why I talked about no, a friend. No, not me. Someone that is trustworthy, that he can narrate, tell his problem with. Because someone the that same. Understands. Thank you very much. Someone that understands the state in which this person is. So this the, is the first step. The, the, the first step for me. Mm -hmm. Is that the person who is looking for a job? Maybe take it in job situation, for instance. The person who is looking for a job, first of all, the person knows himself. And as far as, as, far as you know yourself, you cannot be going to somewhere and some, looking for some, something else, and somebody will ask you some, something else, and you turn to, to that. So the first thing we need is when you go to you have, you meet a kind of a situation, and it happens that the person wants to harass you. Don't leave the, just leave the person and face. And now if you leave the person now, you refuse automatically refuse. It's not because in the name of a job that don't, you are don't, don't forget, yes. don't forget also, also now you make a report. Don't forget also this harassment we are talking about. It is not accepted by the, the person that are vulnerable. Yes. It is continual habitude of, mentally stable. Yeah. thank you very much. I, I it is habitude that this person, the perpetrators of this kind of harassment we are talking about, they do it normally each like continually in order to have their way, whatever they are looking for. You know, the, the, the thing is this. When you're talking the, about the, the person being harassed, the, not to refuse or to refuse. The, the thing is that then, mm -hmm. you are harassed. And if you, you, you are harassed and you don't feel good with it, tell the person that what you're doing to me is not good. We, we, yes. they, we, we they they listen to you. Tell them. So like, no. what we, like what we said before, we said this thing happens continuously, mm. forcefully, mm. like you're pestering this person and you're like that intimidating. That is it. This you're intimidating the person. everybody has the courage to say no. To stand to against that. Like that. How can you not have the courage to say no? We'll, talk, we'll continue <laughs> that later. So yeah. as you were saying, you can also report this case to the police. In Togo mm. here, you can call... Um, uh, 117. 117. And yeah. if it's a child, someone who is below 16, for example, who is not yet... Um, 
an adult, you can call 1101. You can also um, find a lawsuit or better still, you can uh, call for a restraining order. This person yeah. is pestering me. I don't want to see this person again. I don't want this person to continue yeah. being on my back and stalking me. You can also call the police or the, we have non-governmental organizations Thank today you. that also deal with these kind of cases. I, I have one organi non-governmental organization. So, oh, this one is also the government. This one is NG. Uh, uh, GBV, it is governmental yeah. run based violence. Yeah, it is in Ajidogom, yeah. yeah. It's Ajidogom, so they can they help people, especially those people that are facing this and problem. also can help them to calm out of their psychological problem in this okay. case. All right, since this topic is getting more interesting, spicy, we'll be going into a quick break and hold on your point. We'll get back to you very soon. Right back. We have been discussing about harassment, rape, and uh, abortion. And we mentioned earlier on we talk about a lot of form of rape or harassment that we do have. And uh, right now we'll be trying to tackle the point, which is because harassment is also a process that will lead to rape. We know in our society today. So, kindly, I would like to know what can we like if someone asks you to know about rape, what can we say like uh, overview? Or uh, understand you can you have about rape? Okay. Rape, first of all, you should know that the rape is something that is good, something that is punishable for law. And to define rape, rape is a forceful intercourse with somebody against the person's consentment. If the person doesn't consent to have intercourse and you force the person to have intercourse. Uh, that, 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 that means that you are trying to say that like rape is intentionally penetration of someone's yeah, vagina or yeah. organs, genital organs, yeah. uh, and us that the person is not willing, but you forced to do so. Yeah, it's unwanted. If it, unwanted. But the person doesn't desire to have a intercourse with you, to have sexual contact with you, and you force the person through all means to, to have intercourse. Through all means. So, yeah, mm. we, we call it uh, a rape. Or oh, better still, it's also an unlawful uh, act because surely it's not approved by the law. Rape is not something that is welcomed in the society. Very ugly situation at that. It's a case that many people have been dealing with and we have victims today that cannot even stand up for, for themselves. Um, victims that cannot even stand up to match themselves with their fellow women or men in the society because they will feel like um, they've been um, uh, ripped off their glory, according to some people, they've been ripped off their honor and their pride, dignity. So based on this, we can also say that traditionally before, people normally define rape as um, this um, unlawful act, uh, having intercourse with someone of a lower age, um, like between a man, for example, a man that is quite, let's say, 50-something year old, yes, old, and yeah. a lady that is um, 15 or 16. That yeah. is how they define yeah. rape traditionally before. But today is no longer the case. A rape case can happen between um, two oh, people. Wow. Two people, no. maybe they are even of age, for example, yeah. two adults. Rape case can happen between two children, two <laughs> adults, <laughs> two adults and grown-up people. And also, um, before, rape was used as um, an element of war, a weapon of war, for example. People yeah. go to the battlefield. Mm -hmm. There is um, a war between two countries. And for this country to so prove to the it, other they one they that I'm, more, I'm more that person, yeah, they come they, to, they come to the invade, event. Yeah, they invade this, um, even, this even, particular even, area. Even now, the, 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 the war that is going on in Ukraine, and between Russia and Ukraine. Mm. The, the we, news we really on France Venkat, they have been saying it. France Venkat have been saying it that well, many people that have been raped. <laughs> many people have been raped. So even in the United States of America, in Ohio, we have the state like the current situation in Ohio where the, a little lady, a girl, 11 years old, yeah. was raped by this, yeah. this man, 27 years old. And like, I, I ask myself, what can push someone to do such or commit, commit such a so, terrible, such a no, terrible no, there thing? Are, there are some people, the reason why I, I tell somebody that so there are people, they are not a woman being. They are what, are they? Because what are they? Because as a woman being, like a lady like this, if I feel love, I, I feel love for her, I, I can openly tell her that 
you know I love you and, and so on and so forth. But if you cannot force the person, it is not forceful. You cannot, for, you cannot force somebody to have intercourse with the person because you, you desire or because you want. It is not normal. So <laughs> if you do so by doing so, it's like you are not normal. It's like you are not a human being. Now, also, it's, it's like they are, they are human beings. Of course, they are human yeah. beings. Sometimes some people are, it's like uh, they are obsessed to this kind of situation that, I don't know, it is a, uh, what, what we, there is this specific name we call for these people, they are obsessed to sex. Yes, they are dictated to sex. They are dictated to sex. So that will push them in such action. But ask myself, is it 11 years old, do you do that to you action with That's pedophilia, actually. There is a teacher in the United States, I think it in, in Texas, the teacher, it's a female, it's a female uh, a woman. She harassed a, a little boy of 13, 13 years old. Yeah. And because it's the case here. She tried to favor the, the boy. The she, boy? She has intercourse with the boy, and she got pregnant with Oh, my her. God. So, <laughs> you see, and she was jailed. So, do man go more around her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's quite <laughs> terrible. <laughs> you see, so, so this is the reason why I'm saying they are not a woman being. How can a woman of maybe 13 or 25 years old can ask that kind of um, kind people? Of, with a, a, a we, boy we, of also, we also have the case of a, of a young girl called Rose. She was, um, ex, uh, she was taken from one country, from, from Nigeria to Benin and to um, Cote d'Ivoire, Ivory Coast. Mm. She was in the market and before she could know it, the woman just came convincing her, let's go, let's do this. And before you know it, She've gone past two countries already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there, the woman would ask her to Very go in the like night. That. Let me tell you. <laughs> like, these are youths that... Yeah. I know that, that there are children or youths that manipulate their phone on crossing... The, um, about the to cross the road. road. They manipulate their phone on streets. Mm -hmm. And even, like, in market, you're trying to purchase something and you are still on your phone. Anything can happen. So that's just a quiet warning. So this lady found, this young girl of 15 years old found herself in Ivory Coast and then the woman that brought her there would ask her to go out in the night and have intercourse with men. Quite like uh, prostitution. They just no. say that it's this kind of business. They are trying, they're trying to yeah. business. Sexual, sexual exploitation. Sexual exploitation. Sexual 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 exploitation. Sexual it's just like the CSE, you children know? sexual exploitation. No, actually, we, we, so we, she come back with money and then she give it to the woman. She get nothing in return actually. So there's an organization that found this lady, uh, this girl, because she was able to confine in a friend that advised her to take her to this organization. And then she was happy. She was brought back to Nigeria. So that's just um, a quiet um, information of how to proceed with this kind of dangerous situation. When you don't know how to handle it, you can confine in someone. Because some people are even afraid of the police the that they police. can call. The, the, the most dangerous case of this topic is this. It sometimes happened between daddy and daughter <laughs> or mom and son incest or like a kind of incest. Like incest that we call incest incest it's very it's very very the, the we must so, I, I even i know somebody he is a man he's from how he, he he his own doctor he pregnant the, the, the daughter oh my see God. now the, the daughter has two uh, two baby with him, for, for him now, in this case, now when the person is pregnant, now what can be the solution or what can be the outcome? What can we say about that? Yes, for example, is this possible to terminate or to terminate or just to keep it like that? No, first of all, there are some people they automatically got uh, traumatized. Yes, that's, that's one point. point. Mm -hmm. Because when you are raping, especially if you are under, you are immature, you are not mature, you are raped. The person automatically yeah, got, even mature yeah. people get traumatized. Even though you are mature, you traumat yes. traumatizing. So you, you, got you get pregnant. Some people think of uh, about aborting the, yes. the baby. The term abortion itself, I would like to have like what if someone asks me now, or like you want to define, explain abortion. What, what can we say about it? Um, we can say it's um, an intentional termination of a pregnancy you don't want because, of course, it's an unwanted pregnancy. So let's just say simply you go to a doctor or you go to someone because not everybody go to, goes to doctors. You go to someone you deem fit of helping you to terminate the pregnancy. You go to them and you explain your situation to them. And that, uh, of course, you don't want this um, baby. You don't want to keep it and they should get, right, they should get rid of it. 
Then they will go through procedures, whether clean or unclean, just to get <laughs> a result up, of getting this. Which one is unclean? This um, <laughs> innocent fetus out. <laughs> And so, also, I would like to make a difference between what you say about termination. There's just, there are some people they confuse uh, abortion and a miscarriage. There are some people they abort and yeah. after they did they, they themselves. It was a miscarriage. Uh, it's in my miscarriage. There, there's a difference between miscarriage <laughs> and abortion. Just to let them know. When in some countries, for example, abortion uh, like uh, is legalized. And it's a kind of situation that people... I was surprised when was, that happened in the United States. I saw women, even some lawyers in the parliament, they, are, they were crying just for abortion because the constitution tries to, 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 buy, to ban the, 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 yes, the right to abortion. That brings me to, to the countries. We have countries that um, accept, that also um, can accept, actually, approve the law or the right to abortion, abortion yeah. for example, countries like China, Mexico, France. Canada, UK, and uh, Australia, mm -hmm. these are countries that are, um, they allow. accept um, people to have the right to have access to abortion but because but nobody would, excuse me to say, nobody would pray to get raped and then keep the baby because this, um, these children that are a result of um, rape are not really welcome in the society. Nobody uh, wants to have. I think nobody wants to have only, to be called a bastard. Uh, or something. I think it's not only those countries, but even in Togo. In some cases, Togo also allow abortion, yes. uh, saying that if you are ra you are raped, like I, then I, you I, can. Uh, for, for me, as far as I'm concerned, mm -hmm. abortion will not be something that is must be done because you are pregnant. Yeah. If, for example, someone is having chronic, chronic problem, disease, condition. or malady condition. In this case, we can talk about it and see how we can do it. And but, oh, you are pregnant through a way, wanted or not unwanted, you terminate. I don't think this is something we no, must, uh, 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 we must encourage. Uh, if you consider America, uh, American Roe versus Roe versus Wade. Yes. Roe versus Wade. They, they were they are bringing like uh, the you know the Constitution is trying to overturn. Yes, the no, nineteen uh, seventy-three. American fourteen for amendment says that give the right, absolute right to a woman to abort in the, ter in the first three months. Nice, Means nice, that the, the lady is right. She has a right, a full right to abort. Do you know in the same, in that the same three, country, the, do you know in that same country in Ohio, the lady I'm talking about, the 12, the 11 years old that was pregnant, do you know that she couldn't do or get, uh, do the abortion? Do you know why? No, no. Because some states refused to stick on that law. Yeah. So it was, no, she was no, forced question, to move to my, Indiana. My question is that uh, those countries that are, that are allowing the, the abortion, suppose that during the, the, the process to abort the baby, the fetus, something happens to the, the lady and the lady dies. As for the, 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 the daughter, will, yes. be, will the law punish the daughter or uh, the daughter will be feel free like this? Okay, so um, not to uh, stay too much on this issue, Today, um, we would like to also inform you that people who um, engage in these practices are not going to go scot-free like before in the days where people can just engage in these activities and think that they have their own words. In Togo, for example, we have um, three to one to three years imprisonment for people who harass or if this, per if this person who is being raped is a child under 16 or under 15, you can go from 5 to 10 years imprisonment. Abortion is um, also a situation where you don't have to be... And also, to you don't have to you can also pay amendments. Yes, you can also pay for fines mm -hmm. if you are... Uh, found wanting in this kind of situation. And also people that get rid of pregnancies are not only teenagers or are not only people who don't want this pregnancy. People with chronic disease like um, having an ectopic pregnancy, they can also opt for an abortion. And Mr. Davy, anything for our viewers before we uh, go? Also, I would like to wrap up by saying that if you are in this situation, try firstly or try as soon as possible to get to the police to report to them. But these people that are doing it, perpetrating this, they are not going scot-free. For example, yes. when you go to Oklahoma, United States of America, it is death, like life without parole. They will hang you, like there is need this not uh, a kind of leniency, no. These people, are in, they need to be punished in order to s stop this kind of havoc we are seeing in our society. And these people who are being in this situation, try to report. Don't be afraid and to get rid of this situation. Thank you. 
Okay, and this brings us to the end of this episode of um, our program, Daily Trend Francophone Edition season finale, and of course, not definitely the end, as on every um, Wednesday at 12.15 p.m. and 7.15 p.m. Kasha repeats on Sunday every um, 12.15 p.m. And you can join us or you can throw in comments on our social media handles on YouTube, The Daily Trend, um, playlist on New World TV channel, on Facebook, The Daily Trend, um, at um, The Daily Trend, TDT. Don't forget, awareness is key. Be careful, stay safe, stay tuned. Don't forget, and this is The Daily Trend.